Good evening, everyone. My name is Shani B. I am an English teacher by day, a Chinese student by afternoon, but I'm also something like Clark Kent. I have an alter ego. At night, I become Fire Fae, professional fire spinner, fire eater, and fire breather. So you may think I'm a dragon, or you may think I'm insane, but today I hope you'll think about a question. Can art turn the world on its head? Now, my medium of choice is flame artistry, which has accrued something of a bad name in Taiwan. So before I convince you that fire dance can be used for a greater good, I need to dispel a few myths. If you're a new arrival in this country, you may not be familiar with the recent accident in Taichung. In March of this year, a dancer was performing a fire show at the AHA nightclub. Mid-set, he threw a sparkler at the ceiling, which caught the styrofoam soundproofing on fire and engulfed the entire building in a devastating three minutes. Now, the public has long been misinformed about fire dance, and like so many things, they were able to take an isolated, headline-grabbing incident as proof for their long-held misconceptions. I don't want you to think for a second I'm downplaying this catastrophe. I speak for the fire-spinning community as a whole when I say it broke our hearts. But one million people die from vehicular accidents every year. Does this necessitate a blanket ban on driving? Certainly not. If we're sober and aware, the roads can be made safer. The dancer in question that night was very new to fire dance. He had no business performing a public show with his lack of experience. Furthermore, the bar itself had previously been shut down for failing a safety inspection. Not even the most esteemed dancer in the world could have performed there. Fire dance is actually quite safe, provided you respect what you're doing and follow well-established safety guidelines, which I don't have time to outline here. So if any of these photos have inspired you to stick flaming objects down your mouth, please talk to me first. <laughs> well, time is short, so hopefully by now I have you at least semi-convinced fire dance is not an inherently dangerous and sadistic activity. Assuming this pre premise, I digress back to my original question. Can art turn the world on its head? And I hope to convince you in the remaining two minutes that the answer is yes. In addition to flame arts, I studied ecology and am something of a tree hugger. So one day I got to thinking, how can fire dance be used to contribute towards solutions to ecological problems? To make a long story short, here's some things we've done. One of my troupe's first shows was a benefit for critically endangered Taiwan Sousa dolphins. In addition to raising $4,500 for this cause, we raised awareness by distributing literature and giving short talks on habitat degradation between sets. And a few months ago, I performed on a Taiwanese television show. I used the opportunity to introduce a local NGO, the Society of Wilderness, and when I won the $10,000 NT dollar prize, I donated it to this organization. So by now you're probably thinking, sure, Shannon, you're well-intentioned, but 500 US? That is a ripple in an ocean when measured against the 500 million big oil spends on lobby every year. You're not gonna save the world this way. Wake up. And I tell you, you're right, I'm not. And that is precisely why I've come here today, to convince all of you to join me. Because what if everyone who'd ever said I'd love to help, but what can I do? The problems are so big and I'm so small. Dared to try. Our ripples could become a tidal wave. And maybe now you tell me, well, I see the logic, but fire freaks me out, man. Then I'd say that's okay. Art comes in many forms. My topic today was inspired by photographer J.R., who pasted giant pictures of Palestinians and Israelis on the Gaza security strip to get these warring nations to see each other as more than enemies. And one of my personal heroes, John Lennon, inspired generations with the simple words, give peace a chance. And maybe now you tell me, well, I'm no iconic rock star. And I say again, that matters not. The global problems we face today are magnificent in scale. Any solution we find will be multi-stakeholder. Everyone in this room is good at something. Maybe you're a surfer, you're a wave artist. Maybe you have a talent with words, you're a language artist. Maybe you're good at math. For what greater prose exists than the poetry of nature expressed through numbers? Or maybe you're just a sandwich artist working at Subway. Whatever it is you do can be used for something greater than itself. All it takes is a little creativity and a little more drive. 
Thank you. Now go turn the world on its head.